uh, you might need to mix the soil again okay we're not gonna put this one in at the early stage this stage we just uh, I'm gonna use my hands even though I have tools because uh, I find that it's uh, easier for me to use my hand I do like to put a lot of uh, this inside some people might say I scared of uh, I scared of wheat because this is definitely come with the seed you just use your feeling it's just like a cooking people were telling you are uh, one part of this one part of that you know and um, well it depends on the form of the planting material like fertilizer if you using one part of this if by right it should a lot of people might telling you use one part of this but if it's in the powder form okay it will be this is a compact form so as you can see it will be too much and you can use just uh, depends on the pot size that should be the correct way to estimate uh, one handful it should be okay for one pot all right I'm gonna keep on mixing this first about uh, one, one part of uh, soy and then maybe half of this because we already mix with this one and also with this okay so this is the time that you might consider to put in the fertilizer mix well the easiest way you don't need to do additional of other things like uh, EM or whatever to pour on it it's just like this is good enough even with just the water and the rice uh, amount of water okay this is also will dissolve by itself so people say sometimes you might need to wait for about uh, two weeks to grow this and then this one is will have to dissolve by then my matter is that I will grow it right away because by the time sometimes the sometimes the uh, plant is already have the uh, healthy rooting system by the time everything are already already first of all I would like to explain a bit on the pot okay normally the this pot you can use plastic pot you can use the ceramic pot the pot like this the good thing is that you can see the bottom part here they have a little bit of the gap this part is uh, for the water drainage air circulation a lot of holes here so when you place this on the floor right away it leaves the gap a little bit and that is good okay because of the drainage system it will be better for the ceramic pot what happened is that if the shape is flat like this you might have the the leg for it lift up a little bit of the pot like that the next thing is that uh, before I mix this one in this is no measurement you know why because you put more so the plant won't die before I put in the planting material I will put this about one inch of this because this is will prevent the heat that is coming from the floor to the rooting system to harm the root this is also create the uh, air pocket okay at the the bottom part is help with the drainage so don't forget okay the key for today is if you want to place this directly at the cement floor or the house you need to uh, putting this in first all right then it will help the plant your plants will be safe okay i will keep on putting this in uh, a little bit of tip for you today is that um, you might need before you repotted your plant or something if you need the wood to support the new uh, young plants that gonna grow 
do it before you grow the plants because by doing this uh, first is preparing it well okay it will be firm but if you do it later after you already plant your your, your vegetable or repotted it put it over here and then you only then put it in you can imagine that it's got the high chance to uh, harm to the rooting system it can hurt the root by doing it so normally I will just doing this first if I need the support okay so before I putting it until it's uh, very full what I'm gonna do is I will put a little bit of uh, again add in a little bit of this before I grow anything one handful of this I put it at the bottom and then I will mix it well again don't let uh, the root to hit directly to this uh, organic chicken dung because it will be uh, too 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 salty for the vegetable and it will not doing well so you mix it first after you mix well at the bottom here already add in the soy you can see I can do whatever I like because uh, actually I think what is good for the plant I just put it in okay so this way it's ready for to use this is ready to use if you have a plant right now you can just grow in here and then uh, time come this one the soil it will go down okay leave the gap a little bit on the top because when you watering the plant you don't want uh, the water to be just uh, flood out together with the soil dirty your floor so something like this one inch like that is good uh, some might be lower but I would recommend you to be around one inch for this type of mixture because in the later stage it will just uh, sink down the, the whole thing it will more complex a little bit when time to come when this this is uh, our friend here getting dissolved okay so um, that is one thing all right and if you don't want to plant directly into this because it's too heavy okay and it's very hard to move about and taking care or even repotted and change the soil and all this this is will be good idea that you are just uh, doing casing it casing mean that you just place this one in you have the beautiful casing look class but inside here is just a plastic pot okay so okay uh, if you want to repot it or change the uh, soy time to time because vegetables or the uh, some of the plants they have their age some uh, only last 30 days 35 days 45 days you know two months or you know they have their age so after that they will just gone bye bye so what you're gonna do is that you might need time to time need to uh, change the soil and we do it again put put back the nutrient that is uh, good for the soil okay this is a secondary nutrient that the plants need okay I would like to expand a little bit with this this uh, calcium is very good is uh, promoting uh, for this resistance and make the plant stronger they can resist for the certain certain diseases and also if you put it on top it uh, for the insect and you know those the unwanted gaze that is coming in to attack your vegetable it will be safe from there so uh, you might not need to make it so powder if you want to put it on top just uh, crush it and then you just put it up around I will have it more in the details uh, later on this uh, calcium also if you mix inside here consider to plant something is uh, bearing fruits because it's, uh, it helps it helps uh, very much to promote to utilize the nitrogen for the soil and also with the calcium it's work directly to fruits like those banjor, lady finger and it makes the plants and your fruit from the vegetable fruits is look um, is healthy big size it's, it's promote somewhere uh, flowering stage onward 
So when you see the plant started to have flowering, you can add this one in more. Uh, just loosen the soil on top, okay? And then add this one more. You can add directly like that, okay? Directly like that, and uh, mix it well on the top part, or mix with water. You mix with the water until it absorbs the water well. Then you just water the plant. Okay, that is will be the use for the calcium. Um, best to use when the plant is a uh, flowering stage because uh, that is the time that is uh, they they do work very well. And your fruits will be very crispy, also tastes very good. So that is why organic uh, they have their own taste, vegetable taste. Okay, so you can enjoy that very much if you just do this uh, single tiny little step here so for today I I want to uh, finish this with the thought of just go into very simple of what you have if you 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 have the uh, fresh weed or anything inside your garden mix it in some might say that uh, it will create the heat, you know, the progress of it, pull some of the nitrogen to dissolve this and it will be shortest of the nitrogen and, you know, producing some gas and the heat inside. I can tell you that this kind of the small amount, it won't affect the vegetable. If you do like uh, this kind of compost in the big quantity, maybe one meter high, you know, a big pile of it, those are the things. First day maybe up to 60-70 degree. Okay, the heat. And it's uh, of course is using nitrogen to dissolve and things like that. So that's it for today. You can find this kind of good tips on the home grow and the gardening um, for the organic matter. Every weekly we will upload our video and this week uh, before the sun burn me to death. I would like to say goodbye and uh, we will see you again next week and please do like and share our video subscribe will be best we would like to have more subscribers because uh, so far now three video I think we have less than 50 I think <laughs> so if you want to see this coming uh, to you all along try to subscribe and share more on our own video and then that is will be a lot of support that make me very happy to share more tips like this with me all right thank you so much for watching today